The Java language includes a Boolean data type. A Boolean data type is always either true or false. The words true and false are keywords in the Java language. When you declare a Boolean variable, its default value is always false. You cannot convert a Boolean data type directly to or from any other primitive type. A Boolean expression is an expression that results in a Boolean value. It may be the name of a Boolean variable, a comparison between two values, or a complex combination of Boolean operators. No other data type can be used where a Boolean expression is required by the language. As you know, everything in Java can be converted directly into a string by being combined with another string or being passed as an argument to a method that requires a string argument. The string form of a Boolean value is either the word true or the word false. Let me show you the Boolean operators. Most of them are easy, they're almost instinctive, but there are some that are just a little odd. For example, the instance of operator is unique to Java. This example's result is true. The object on the left is checked against the class or interface named on the right. In this example, a quoted string of characters is used as the object. The compiler automatically converts a quoted string of characters into a string object. The most common Boolean operators are the comparison operators. The double equal sign is used to compare for equality, and that's all it's used for. In every case, the single equal sign is the assignment operator, and the double equal sign compares to values for equality. Now, one important note. You can't use these operators on objects. To compare the contents of objects, you must call a method of the object to do the comparison. If you use one of these operators, your test will sort of work, but the result is from comparing the contents of the reference variables, not the objects. For instance, comparing two circle object references for equality it has nothing to do with the size of the circle. The comparison will result in true if and only if the two references hold the address of exactly the same object. Here are the logical operators. These operators all require a couple of Boolean expressions and will result in a Boolean value depending on the values of the two Boolean expressions. You know what these mean from an earlier lesson and or an exclusive or, and it's important that you remember the subtle difference between the singles and the doubles. The double and and the double or operators will only evaluate the parts of the expressions that give them the answer they need. Both sides of the expressions may not be evaluated. And don't forget the not operator. It will change a false to a true and a true to a false. And that's it. In the next few lessons, I'm going to be going over the ways that Boolean expressions can be used to control the flow of execution in a Java program.